So two weeks ago, I showed Ryan Actual Life 3 by Fred again, and here's our thoughts about it. We're going to talk about our three favorite songs each in this episode, and let us know in the comments what you guys like off this album as well. What was your third favorite song? So my third favorite would be, well, before I get to that. Oh, oh. I got to oh. do some shout outs. I always do this now, I found out, because I just can't narrow it down to three. I got to give some love to some other tracks. Okay? Wow. So, Breaking the format of the show. Okay. I know. Rules are meant to be broken. Oh, so. wow. <laughs> so Delilah and Danielle, I definitely got to give a shout out. I, I mean, those are the most popular in the album. I really enjoy them, but I think I enjoy some of the more emotional ones. Those are a little bit more EDM. Interesting. Dance, yeah. Okay. So my third favorite would be Berwyn. That vocal by, I guess, Berwyn is just so good. So emotional. He's just sung so blue. It's just sung so beautifully with that piano in the back. Um, and I just can't help but want to listen to it over and over because of that. I mean, the production is super sick with the vocal samples. And then it breaks into that spoken word by Kyle Guente, which is super amazing. Yeah. I just love that. Yeah. Really cool section. And then the way he ends it with, you know, this is not the end of the world. This is an invitation to dance. And then it kind of drops back into the hook and all that. Just overall great song. For sure. And yeah, F the neighbors, turn the music <laughs> up. <'cause I> <laughs> <laughs> so what's your third favorite song? Man, um, I, w I mean, I think my third favorite song would probably have to be Delilah just because like it is one of the biggest songs on the album. And I feel you on the... EDM vibes but I think it's the first song I heard by Fred again and I just love his use of like that pumping synth to jump yeah. into it I feel like it sets the vibe of the album it's kind of what hooked me on on Fred I think um, and made me want to explore more yeah. so yeah I'd probably have to give my third to to Delilah I'm gonna have to start thinking of some like honorable mentions man I, I go hard on the on the three <laughs> songs so uh, now you're opening up to Gotta steal my swag over yeah there. yeah but yeah, I'd probably have to, I'll keep it short and sweet and just say Delilah is my third favorite song. So how about number two for you? Two for me is Blue. Yeah, this one, I think I even said it during the reaction. It just gives me Akon vibes, the way he sings it with a little bit of like auto tune on it. It just classic Akon, which I used to rock. Hellos back in the day. Man, and the way that Fred uses auto-tune throughout this whole album, I love the way he all the artists kind of like weave into it. It's a very unique way to u utilize auto-tune, I feel like. Yeah, and I think that's what made the album cohesive for me was yeah. the vocal samples and what he was doing to them. Like it just really created a cohesive feel, not only between the spoken word and like voicemail type totally. samples and all that. I just, yeah, really love that. Um, but yeah, Blue, um, I know like the main hook is kind of cliche where it gets better with time, but I mean, it's true. true. Everything does eventually get better with time, you know, perspective changes. And a lot of times, I don't know, depending on what the situation is, a lot of times you're just in your emotions so hard in the moment where if you do give it like a week, then you realize, okay, that was dumb. Dude. You get to think a little bit more logically. Totally. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Yeah. That's why uh, they say sleep on it. Yeah. And I'm, I am i don't know, like, I, I'm not going to weave a whole yarn here, but I just feel like in my personal life, yeah, like the older I get, the, I don't know, it's a, you just become more patient with time. Like, yeah, you never want to emotionally be reactive to a situation or whatever. Like, if you just give it a second, you know, mm. the only way out is through. That's what I always say. Totally. And I mean, tragedy and wounds, I mean, same thing. I mean, eventually you have so many good days past that, that it starts to overtake totally whatever the bad thing is. Number two for you? Yeah, I'd have to say number two for me. It's a toss up, but I'd probably say Clara. Okay. I just love the way, like, I really love those country style vocals, the courage, my soul. Mm -hmm. I just think it's so powerful. I mean, if you go back and watch the reaction, like I'm just, I've been on that part and it was something different. It's so close to the end of the album. Well, I can totally agree with that because that's my number one song. Mm, nice. I mean, it just bangs so hard. Man, <laughs> it's so good. And all the glitchy, like side chaining in it just mm, gets me in that grand piano has a nice warmth to it yeah, and it, it does like that clear. echo delay effect on it mm, 
Yeah, his and yeah, speaking of that, his sample chopping and panning throughout this entire album are just nuts. Like you were saying, like the ho- cohesiveness. I love how sometimes he would just like throw stuff around to your right ear, left ear, mm-hmm. all this kind of stuff, and that 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 was you know cohesive throughout the album. But yeah, man, Clara's incredible for real. <laughs> then what's your number one? So my number one is definitely Nathan. I just love the creeping main synth. It gives me this vibe of just like I'm in a nightclub at night. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Like I love minor key songs and I tend to gravitate more towards darker sounding stuff. And that's just the vibe I get from this. Um, totally. Yeah, that synth is just so addictive. Man. Yeah. I originally had that on my list um, just because of that vibe that mm. it's like, the scents almost sound like horns or something deeper. I don't know how to explain it. It's but. just got this real long side chain on it. And it's just like, yeah, you know, and, and it's then just, that beautiful you can almost walk with the beat. Yes. That's like, you know, in a very like sinister way. Like you could probably kill some cardio to that. You know what I'm saying? Get on the Stairmaster. Anyways. Yeah. And that vocal over top of it. Beautiful. But yeah, I just I love songs that will paint a picture in my head, and Nathan definitely did that. Um, totally. So, your number one's Clara, like you said. Yep. Any other thoughts on that? Not on that one, but I mean the overall album. Like I said, I mean it was just really cohesive because of all the sampling, and I mean I just love the the vibe of the album. I mean, like I was saying earlier, I mean you can throw this on while working out, you can throw it on trying to go to your first job or go to college on the first day, just getting pumped. It's got just vibes. You're totally right. It's like, it kind of is an album for every occasion and something that you can very much put on in the background. But anytime, you know, something catches my ear, Mm -hmm. I love it. Like throughout, you know, the album, my G Freddy and all that Mm kind of stuff. And don't worry. (laughs) Yeah. That's what I, I I meant to bring that up. So in the beginning, it has that line about don't worry and then a couple times throughout the album he carries that through don't worry yeah so i liked that cohesiveness as Mm -hmm. well kind of keeping that message throughout that's cool yeah no it's definitely it it's a it's a positive album that's what it feels like to me no bad vibes and i just got to give a shout out to fred again because it's just such a breath of fresh air i feel like there's so many things on this album that just feel so different to anything that i've ever heard honestly like the way he does his drums, I think, is very unique in the way that they're not all crazy. They're mm-hmm. very subdued in the best way. That's true. But they like keep, you know, keep a upper tempo. So it's you're always wanting to move and stay on your feet. His sample chopping is just a uh, god tier, really. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and it's just really cool to, you know, have voice notes as samples. Like, I mean, so it's cool. just like I'm taking you along. In my life. This is a snapshot into my life. So Which fits the theme. Yeah, I can't wait to show <laughs> you some life. of his other his other act- albums in the actual life series and just uh, Fred's got so many bangers, honestly. So Awesome. Yep. Also shout out to the closing track on this. Well, close to closing track, Winnie. I love that. It's very beautiful and just love to end it with You Will Be the End of Me. Yep. It's super cool. Really cool. Yeah, awesome. Fred's Fred's legit, man. Shout out to Fred. Uh, leave us a comment down below with your favorite Fred Again song or what the next release I should show Ryan is. Yeah. You know, he just came out with an album, actually. Like so I saw... 2024? Little, yeah, like a week ago. Hey! Little Yachty's got a feature on there. Might have checked that out. Yep, and we will catch you all in the next video. Peace. Peace out. Later. Skater. Hello. Gator. Gator.